Hey YouTube, how you doing? <clears throat> this is Real Talk. And in this episode of my FA-06 uh, series, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put together uh, two full pallets of four tones apiece and mix them into the, the uh, it'll be the studio set to make a super powerful um, now now you have full strength on, on, on both pallets with, without it being weak the last video that I did it was a little bit weak the brass was weak the piano was weak so now I'm gonna show you how, how to have all four tones in a patch and, and, and do another manual crossfade but we're gonna do it in, in the studio set so let's get started <clears throat> okay I've already copied uh, what I needed to copy into uh, the 249 slot here that's going to be my first sound and then the second one is going to be uh, 250 sound that just saved me the hassle you know so just m m whatever sounds you're working with go get an empty slot and copy them into a different slot so that you don't uh, you don't overwrite your original sound because believe me you're going to be mad and you're going to be pissed off if you overwrite your original sound especially if you worked on them so I always work on, on new patches okay so, uh, in this one, uh, I'm going to use, uh, this is going to be the piano, and in this case, I'm going to write it for uh, Let's Group Tonight, okay, so... Okay, so, that's going to be a tune that we're going to be playing, and we're going to write this patch for that tune, okay? So that we don't have to be fumbling around when the tune is going on, because you don't have that much time to work on all that. Okay, so now what, the first thing we're going to have to do is that when we depress the pedal, we're going to have to make this disappear. Okay, so we're, we, uh, this is what I showed you in the, in the previous video, so it should be real easy. And in this case, uh, this only has one, one tone, but technically this could have four tones. But this only has one tone ignited. So this is going to be real simple. We're going to go over here to to, to uh, 64. We're obviously going to check the control to make sure that it's turned off. Because if it's turned on, then it's going to be like a lot of sustaining. And you definitely don't want any sustaining going on. So you want to turn off all the hold, RX hold. Go over here. And you're going to want to go to uh, number one. Turn every, every other tone palette off. And you're going to want to put it to level and negative 63. So, with it with it working, uh, it's fine. But as soon as you press the pedal, there's nothing. Okay, and that's exactly what you want. Then you're gonna want to ride it. And what I like to do is I like to mark them. Just that way, uh, when in the display, as soon as you see the, as soon as you see the patch, just by the display, it's marked in such a way that as soon as you see it, you're gonna know that it, it's it's a it's a crossfade that you've done. So and I like to use the little uh, the little uh, arrow up symbol. You can use any symbol you want, but that seems to work for me. Or you can use that one or the equal or I don't know whatever whatever symbol you want here. I just like to use the little uh, up symbol, like the little arrow up symbol, to tell me okay, well this is a this is a manual crossfade in studio mode that I did. Okay, so it gives me that. So uh, so now. Play it, and then we step the pedal, and it disappears. Okay, great. So now let's let's move over one. Now on this one, we're gonna have to get it to not play when the pedal when the pedal is when it's just normal. And there's nothing there, but when you step on the pedal, it comes in. So that's very easy to do. So we're gonna go to effect. We're gonna hit shift. No, we're gonna hit shift tone edit. Go up to. Uh, TVA, we're gonna mark. Uh, we're gonna mark all four of them, and then we're gonna drop down and just zero everything out. Now on this one, since um, uh, the piano and the brass have a different volume, we're gonna have to set it like we did it before in the last video. We check all all, all the holes. So that's good. Now we're gonna go to where it says. Uh, we're going to go to, to hold, and then we're going to set it to level. And we're going to call the first two the brass section. And we'll, we'll set that, and we'll and then let's we'll check it. 
So when the when the pedal is depressed, the brass comes in. Okay, sounds pretty hot too. If you want to add the sax, the baritone in there, you can you can you can ignite the fourth one and I I happen to have a baritone sax in there, so it'll come in even bigger. Except for the baritone I like to keep separate with a separate level adjustment. So instead of having it equal to the horns to the to the brass, I'll 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 put it on the level number two. And then I'll, I can adjust the level separately. And then that way you know where it's at. So then you can put the, you can put the brass in there. But it gets kind of muddy though. So see, so you can have it in there if you want. And uh, for the meantime though, I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave it out. So I'm just gonna zero out the level. I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to zero it out. Now we got to put the piano in on the number three. So we're going to take those off. Oops. Take those off. Ignite number three, and this is going to be the piano. Since there's a lot of stabs going on, uh, you can add you can add the sax. Okay, so you can add the sax in there, but just make sure that when you're playing it, you're playing it up higher up on the register. Because if you play it lower on the register, it'll, it'll start to get money. But let's just write it like that. So we'll write that there. Okay. So now, normally, there's nothing there. It's all empty. Okay. Oh. Uh, I guess we can mark that too. So let me see here. Uh, let's write this one. Let's mark this one too. Just so we know that it's a, something that we worked on. The other one is up, so we'll... Change the symbol to something else, maybe, maybe a plus sign or something. I, I don't know. You can work out your own your own symbols, you know, so that you can know. Okay, well, this is this, or this is that, or I don't know, or re, or rename it a certain thing, and then it's one or two, or so they kind of go together. I don't know. Maybe you can put um, groove tonight one, groove tonight two, and then that way you know that that each one is paired with the other one, and and that has to be used, you know, something like that. I'm not going to go through all that issue. Okay, we're going to go into studio mode and, and put them together. So we're going to hit studio. And in channel number one, we're going to put purple. We'll put the first piano patch. And then on channel number two, we're going to put it, the second patch that we created. And that's going to be the brass patch. You're not going to be able to hear nothing, though. See, everything's out of whack, you know, because it's not set up right. So that's okay. So now what we're going to do... Okay. In order for to get these to work, you're gonna have to go into the tone. Uh, you're gonna have to go into uh, uh, part view. Okay. Now you're gonna have to set them at, at, at the same channel. So now, now, now they're both connected to the same channel. Then you're gonna exit. Then you go into tone edit. Actually, you're gonna go to part view, and then you're gonna go into the where they. You're gonna go into the uh, the effects. Okay. Now the effects are are, are all out of out of joint. <laughs> So it's kind of missing. It's kind of missing some. Uh, uh, you're gonna adjust the course and the reverb, 
And uh, if you do it the way that I did it in the previous video, I, I showed you how to, how, to, how to use the chorus as a volume. <laughs> It seems like it's really hot, so we're going to come back to the main volume and then drop that volume. Okay, so now... So now you have a piano on, on top, so... Uh, When you step on your pedal, now you can always add the, the reverb and then play around with, with with the adjustments of the of the you know the reverb and the tails and all that stuff. You know, uh, if you want to adjust the actual uh, horn, because it seems like the horn is really hot, you have to now exit, tone edit, and then you adjust the, the horn level. too hot and you drop the piano there uh -oh, here's some sour notes there <laughs> so you just you just you make your adjustments inside of the it's inside of the actual studio set Now, when you exit, when you go to write, you write each, each, uh, you're going to see a, a little yellow mark, which means that, that you, you had adjusted it, and then unless you, unless you save it, you're, you're going to lose your, your, your edits, okay, so you make sure you write both of the patches, and then you go to the studio set, and then write the studio set, I'm going to write this in a different uh, location, just for the sake of argument. And now we have our Let's Group Tonight patch. Okay, um, that's going to uh, complete this uh, part of this video. Um, and now that's the way that, that you would, uh, do a manual crossfade with four, four tones per patch in, in a studio set, mm -hmm. which makes it like super big and powerful. Uh, and then, you know, the potential there is just great <laughs> and you guys can mess around and play around and, and, you know, see how, how that works out for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and then I'll see if I can answer them. Uh, I'll see if I can help you guys out. Um, so this is Real Talk, and uh, I'll come back at you guys with some more stuff uh, when time permits. And I'll catch up with you guys next time.